What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Really excited for today's adventure because I have returned to one of my favorite fishing destinations, which is this giant spillway. We are here at the top of it. Down below it is kind of raging a little bit, but I think we can find some current breaks and find some hungry fish willing to bite our lures. Today's target species is going to be some slab crappie, but I'll literally take anything that I can get. I've got a lot of gear with me today, but I'm especially excited for one piece of gear that I've been excited to share with y'all for a while now. And I feel like this is the perfect place to unveil one of my new toys, and that is this guy right here. This is a brand new to me electric bike from TST Wheels. This is the Defender Series, and they are today's video sponsor. This is an amazing all-terrain e-bike. This bike was designed to be a rugged off-road machine. This thing can go across many different types of environments, whether it be you know through a bike trail through the woods, over across some rocks, a sandy beach, across a big dam, you name it, this bike is made to just go and take you to places that you want to go but maybe don't necessarily want to walk to or maybe you are carrying a lot of gear like I do all the time and it makes it just easier to get to and from these destinations and I'm excited we can also go fast this bike goes up to 28 miles an hour um, and it lasts 60 miles on a single charge so this thing is incredible we'll talk more about it here later but I am just excited to take it across the dam take it down to the hole and hopefully carry back out with us some more fish show you guys kind of my system here i got this little rack attached to it and then i have a cooler strapped onto the top of this thing and i could also put some of my other gear i have my camera bag i have my tackle bag i could probably throw that in the cooler to start off with but i'm hoping to put some fish in here and then up here at the front of the bike we have our lcd screen this kind of tells you everything that's going on with the bike at that moment this number here this is one this is our pedal assist it goes all the way up to five and this right here tells you how fast you're going this bike goes up to 28 miles an hour and then right here you have your throttle you just hit it with your thumb and this bike goes and it will giddy up really quickly um man it's just a cool bike it's got some big fat boy tires 26 inches by four inches wide you can see i've already got them a little bit murky but that's exactly what i'm trying to do i'm trying to use this bike to help me get to places that i just can't necessarily access on foot as easily and i'm going to try to put it through the ringer and see how well it holds up but it looks awesome if y'all would like to check out the bike, I'll leave all the information linked down in the video description. It's a really cool thing. I've been riding it around for the last couple of weeks, kind of testing it out, and it's definitely something we're going to be fitting into our um, arsenal. But yeah, I'm excited. It's cold and dreary and rainy. I think it's supposed to rain some more, but I think the fish are going to be biting. So let's get after it, see what we can catch. We just made it down here to the bottom of the spillway and I think in record time that was the fastest I've made it from where I parked my car at to the bottom of the spillway and it's definitely all thanks to that electric bike. There was one spot where it was a little sketchy and I kind of slid a little bit but that's okay. It was very muddy and very steep. I probably should have just, just walked it down that little stretch but we made it down in one piece. I still got to get a little bit used to riding that thing around through some steep elevation but anyways we are down here. Like I said, we're down here below the dam and it is ripping. The water is up um, quite a bit, honestly, but we have a really nice little bit of slack water right here. And I'm hoping there'll be some crappie stacked right there. Um, this place has been virtually unfishable for the last like two months. And um, yeah, so these fish should definitely not be too fresh. I'm seeing a few other anglers out here on the bank fishing around. I've already seen one guy catch one, so I'm feeling optimistic. Let's get some baits in the water. Let's see if we can put some slabs on the bank. Okay, we're ready to start fishing. I've got my six foot six inch, one piece medium ACC crappie sticks. I've got a Daiwa Regal 1000, 10 pound braid, eight pound fluorocarbon, and then a juicy isom colored crappie magnet. And I'm gonna do it below a float at first. There's a lot of rocks right here. It's not that deep, but we're gonna pitch this thing out here in this calm water and shake it around a little bit and see if we can find a crappie. Okay, so I've only been fishing here for about 15 minutes. I haven't had any bites from crappie yet, but I have seen like five really nice bass come up right beside me here on the bank, like chasing minnows, or at least I think they're bass. Um, I messed up, I left some gear in the truck. I've got a whole bunch of bass gear, so I'm actually going to zip back across the dam on the bike 
and uh, grab my bass rod, grab like a crankbait or a spinnerbait or something, and um, fish this spot right here because, I mean, he's definitely feeding. There's a couple there, they look big. So I definitely would like to try to catch them if possible. And then I think I'm actually gonna have to go downstream a little bit. It's a little bit too rough right here um, for the crappie, I think, but I don't know. These bass have my attention and I wanna try to catch them. I don't know what the speed limit is on this dam, but I'm going 18, 19, 20 mile an hour across it. <laughs> Man, that's fun. This is the only part that's kind of sketchy is going down this hill right here. It is very steep. I'm not, regardless of what the uh, GoPro looks like, very steep, very rocky, very muddy, very slippery. So we're just going to take it easy down this sucker. I am by no means an expert biker. I have wiped out many a times trying to mountain bike down a trail and wiping out on a bike ain't fun. But I'm feeling very rock solid on this thing with the big fat boy tires. They've got great grip. And this stuff right here is pretty rocky. I mean, as you, you can see though, we're, we're, we're cruising. This here's the sketchy one right here. That's the one I don't like. As long as my brakes hold out, we're good but I did install them myself, so hopefully I installed them right. Oh yeah, we're golden. We're golden. Here's a little slippery slip. I don't like this slippery slip right here. Yep, yep, there it is. There it is, okay. And now we can rip. Woo! That's that same little slippery slip I about wiped out on earlier. See, now we're ripping. We didn't have to do the stairs of death or nothing. We're back. It's like deja vu. Oh, all right. And turn her off and hike back down here. All right, no more messing around, guys. Strictly fishing business and dodging poison ivy. It's like the bush form. It's no good. I've been gotten my whole life by this poison ivy on this little strip. Hopefully it didn't get me just then. There he is. <laughs> oh, it's a big fat Kentucky bass. Yeah, it's, I don't think it's the guy I saw jumping, but that's a guy, that's our first fish of the day. And he's coming home with me. About three casts in with the spinner bait. And we got it, that's a nice spotted bass. Perfect eating size too, probably like 13, 14 inches. I'm gonna get him strung up and hopefully catch a couple more of these, hopefully catch a couple of crappie. That's awesome, let's go. First fish of the day. I promise you though, those swirls I was seeing earlier chasing bait, they were, I mean, they were at least double this size, probably not triple, but that'd be cool if it was triple. And so I'm making a bait change and putting this lipless crankbait on. I've had a couple of short strikes on that spinner bait. This isn't the perfect color for right here, but I think they'll still bite it. This is the six cent snatch, and you can see this bait in particular has been absolutely mauled. This is my favorite lipless crankbait. Um, I mean, I've caught so many on this bait. I actually hate to use it right here in this spot because I don't want to lose it. There's a lot of rocks, and the chance of me snagging it up and losing it are a bit higher than some other places. But we'll risk it for the biscuit. So I want that biscuit. Oh gosh. Uh oh snagged something so exhibit a on what those fish are eating I believe this is a silver side and you can see oh shoot well you saw kind of that they're basically the same color and there's a bunch of them down there if i'm able to just snag one like that there's got to be a bunch of them right there there we go oh what the heck oh it's a shad dang there's all sorts of crap down there that place is thick i should be able to catch some crappie right there 
well dang two casts or a couple casts with the with the snatch and i've got me a silver side and a gizzard if i had my catfish pole i would send that dude out there into the to the middle and try to catch me a big catfish dang There he is, there he is, another spot, there we go. There we go. Look how fat they are. They are just been out there just eating them shiners. Another perfect eating size spotted bass. Chunky and literally in the exact same spot. I kind of dropped it right beside that rock, kind of like did that spinner bait. Perfect. Not too big, it's like a 12 and a half incher maybe. He's smaller than the first one. I'm telling you, there are some big ones down here though. We'll string them up. Gosh, that felt good. Another one. That's a white bass. Haha, <laughs> same spot. Same exact spot. Third fish. Second on the snatch. Second species. He's hooked really good. That little dude had the bait so good. He had like every point of that treble in his mouth. We're going to send him back in. He was kind of a smaller guy. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh no, it's a gar. In the tail, big gar in the tail. Man, I thought I had the guy just then. Maybe he'll come off. I don't want him to, I don't think I'm gonna lose him. Hey. Oh, we got him. <laughs> Look at that big old thing. Pretty good size long nose. Not the biggest I've ever caught by any means. But still a pretty cool fish. Snag him in the tail though. Hopefully we won't snag him again. Hey, there's a fish. Finally got me a crappie. It took me a while to catch one, but we're on the board. First crappie of the day. Orange chartreuse, ice some color crappie magnet. And uh, you know, he's not big enough to keep, which is unfortunate, but at least it is a start in the right direction for the crappie. Another one. Oh God, what is that? It's a gar, is it the same gar? This one ate it. Is that the same one? I swear, if that's the same gar, I'm gonna laugh. Oh, I was pumped for a second, guys. Hey, at least we caught him the sporty way if this is the same guy. Well, no, because he had a ratty tail. Jeez. I think this one's bigger. Definitely feels bigger on the smaller pole. Is this the same gar? Oh, we'll never know. Is that a fish? I got a bass. He swiped at it. I think he swiped at it. That's a good bass. Decent bass up here. Yes, ha ha. I felt him hit it and then he hit it again, swiped at it. Nice little large mouth. Look at that. There's our biggest fish of the day right there. A nice large mouth bass. He swiped at it, had it up here underneath the chin. I felt him hit it and I swung again and then got him. Just trying to knock it. That's a nice fish. I think I'm actually gonna keep him too. We'll have three bass right there on the stringer. This is bigger than other ones. He's like a two pounder. Should be some good eating. I got a fish. Fish on, fish on. It's a bigger white bass. 
So I decided to send it a little further out there to the faster current. There's a little bit of a break out there in the middle and that's about where that guy came from. Pretty solid white bass. There we go, fish on, fish on. It's a gar, another gar. This time it's a little spotted gar. Second gar species of the day is a nice little spotted gar. Pretty cool dude. I think it's a spotted gar. Might be a short nose. He seems kind of spotted. It's a spotted gar, I'm pretty sure. There we go, fish on, fish on spare bait. What is that, is that a bass? It's a white bass. Moved over here to the other side of the dam. Got the spinner bait back out. And first fish over here is another tiny white bass. He hit it pretty hard, I thought it was gonna be a bigger fish. We'll take it. Got him, nice one, nice one. Nice one, nice one. Get up here. Oh, it's a nice spot. Look at that spot right there, big fat spot. Yes. All right, guys, look at there. We moved up uh, closer to the spillway up on this side. We just caught that white bass. And um, the water here is a little bit less intense as it is over there. Uh, so I can make a nice parallel cast down the bank right here. And that is a nice, chunky, fat spot of bass. I actually have all my other bass in the cooler up there, but I have another stringer and we're going to put this one on it. All right, guys, we are back up out of the hole. Had a fun time out here fishing below the dam today. You know, the bite wasn't as crazy as I honestly thought it was going to be. We only caught one crappie, um, but at least we were able to get on some bass, you know? That was, that was a lot of fun. I guess we kept four bass, and I think I caught two off camera. My camera was messed up, so I caught six bass total today. Caught a few white bass. Of course, I also caught a couple of gars, so just a good all-around fishing mission, and it was especially fun doing it all from the new electric mountain bike from TST Wheels. Big thanks to them again for sponsoring today's video. I'm really looking forward to taking the bike out to a couple of other spots that I know of that require, you know, covering some ground, and I think it's just going to be a really valuable tool for us moving forward. Uh, so again, if you would like to check it out, I'll have all the info for the bike linked down in the video description. It's awesome. It's a lot of fun to ride around, and I think that. If y'all were in the market for one, this is one that y'all would enjoy. But with that, I'm gonna take the fish back to the house and we're gonna clean them, we're gonna eat them. And that's gonna be probably the best part of the day because it's been cold and just kind of clammy and wet and I want some warm bass in my tummy. I'll catch you guys back at the house. Okay, we're back here at the house. I got the fish cleaned up a little bit ago. I've got them seasoned up. This is the spicy blend of fish fry. I'm just out here just kind of chilling on the back deck. We just had a pretty big uh, rain shower come through. But it's got these birds out here chirping. The red winged blackbirds, they're like my favorite bird to come out here and watch and listen chirp in the springtime. Um, down here in front of me, I've got my deep fryer. I got scared. I thought I'd just put my hand in there, honestly, guys. That was kind of sketchy. <laughs> I've got my deep fryer warming up. It should be pretty much there. And we're just going to have just a, a straight up just fried fish medley. We've got, you know, like I said, we got the fried bass. Those should be good. And then we've got some french fries and some. Hush Puppies. Big Boss has been loving this particular uh, brand of Hush Puppies, the Savannah Classics. They're pretty good. They're not my favorite, they are good, um, but Big Boss absolutely loves them, so we're gonna cook a few of those up for her. You know those birds? It's just beautiful. I love it. <laughs> I love it. But anyways, I'm gonna start cooking these fish up. Shouldn't take, but just a few minutes. So for first away, and that is a piece of uh, spotted bass. Oh yeah, we're ready. Oh, mm, eh, it could probably warm up a little bit. Maybe I. Right. It'll cook. Another spotted bass. Another spotted bass. And then we got this big old guy right here. It's a big piece of that large mouth. Uh, that was our biggest fish today. I should have cut it in smaller pieces, but YOLO. Throw the whole bad boy in there. Now we're sizzling. 
We're just cooking those four fillets today. I've got the other ones saved in the fridge. Probably gonna be whew, smoking a little bit. I think we're good. <laughs> I'm gonna save those other fillets for another day this week. We're gonna just probably cook them on the skillet or something, but these should be super tasty. Okay, first look. Look pretty good. Oh yeah, those should be tasty. And just like that, guys, our fried fish plate is complete. We have our fried bass, we have our french fries, and then we have our hush puppies, of course. We're missing some ketchup. I need to go inside and get some of that, but we're about to do the taste test on these boys right there. They look tasty, they look crunchy and golden and delicious. Let's see how good they are. Okay, there it is. This is a piece of spotted bass, and um, it looks very, very tasty. In the past, whenever I've eaten bass, I've noticed that the spotted bass seem to out taste or tastes better than largemouth. The largemouth are good too, especially when there's a small size like this that we kept. Let's give it a try. That's so good, guys. We really don't eat bass often enough. A lot of times we just like to go out and catch and release. You know, the bass that we catch is because we keep fish all the time and it's kind of just like our pleasure fishing. But in that scenario down there below the dam, I couldn't help but uh, keep a few of these spotted bass and then that largemouth to bring home and eat. And I'm definitely saying it was well worth it because they are very, very tasty. Man, that's so good. So, so good. But I'm sure y'all can tell, it has gotten, it's starting to get dark. Um, cooking is pretty late tonight. So I'm actually, and it's also damp, and it kind of looks like it's fixing to start raining again. So that's not good for um, fried food on a paper plate. So I'm actually gonna take this step back inside and enjoy it. Maybe watch a little bit of YouTube. Maybe just, just sit back and relax for a little while. Anyways, I hope that y'all enjoyed hanging out fishing today at the spillway. It was a lot of fun taking the new e-bike out there, ripping it around, ripping, ripping it across the dam, and overall just going out there and catching a lot of nice fish. And I hope to go out there again soon and try to target some of those crappie that we were missing in today's episode. But if y'all enjoyed it, do me a huge favor, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and we will see you on the next one. Bye guys.